Veganism is a psychological disorder, as far as I'm concerned. Now, this may come as a shock to some of you people, but uh, there's absolutely nothing uh, from a physiological or anthropological analysis that would indicate that veganism is a reasonable approach to the human diet. Nothing whatsoever. It is a, it's, a, it's a religious, possibly a religious or moral consideration, but I'm, I'm not a, a theologian and I'm not a psychologist. Uh, and I'm primarily concerned with efficiency here. Uh, plant-based diets are not efficient. Plant-based proteins are incomplete. If you're going to do pea protein, it's going to have to be engineered to the point that it's no longer pea protein. It's going to have to have amino acids added to it. It's going to be uh, synthetic. It's going to be an additive-based product. Uh, Why don't you just, you know, have some meat and just shut up, you know, just have some meat. Do you object to killing animals? Uh, Do you disinfect your mouth? With mouthwash? What about the poor little bacteria? Well, they're not really animals, but, you know, they're alive. You know, they're alive. You're killing them. What about when you walk around in the yard and step on nematodes? Nematodes don't have a right to be in your yard uninterrupted in their little crawly business by your feet squishing them into protoplasm. How do you think they feel about that? You know? Do you, do you, what do you do about roaches in your house? You just coexist peacefully with the roaches in your house? What about mice and rats? What about the rats in your attic chewing the insulation off of your wiring? Potentially subjecting your house to being burned down. What do you peacefully coexist with those? Where does this shit stop?